Good morning, students of class nine. Welcome back to the online classes now. Let's continue our lesson in English, the snake and the mirror. So in our previous class, we have talked that about that when the snake slithered from his shoulder and landed on the table and looked at the mirror, the writer got up very slowly. He backed off and reached the veranda out from the door into the veranda and from there he ran without looking behind he ran as fast as he could so now after that what happens we are coming to the end portion now there are altogether eight points i've written and this is the end of the chapter lesson five the writer ran out of his room after reaching the veranda, he backed off and reached the veranda. And from there, he ran at night because of, uh, because of fear and reached his friend's house. He ran so quickly without looking behind, non-stop. He ran and ran and ran and until he reached his friend's house. As he reached his friend's house, as he reached there, he quickly, then, he quickly, he smeared, smeared, smeared means rubbed. He opened his shirt. Already his shirt and vest were open. He hung them in the room. He, he was, he had a bare body from vest up. He opened his vest, shirt and coat. And he quickly smeared, smeared means rubbed, oil all over his body and took a bath at night. Because the snake coiled around his arm, bare arm, so he went to his friend's house. He reached there after running so fast and uh, he quickly rubbed the oil, smeared the oil all over his body and he took a bath. After that, the next morning, at about 8.30 in the morning, the writer took his friend and, and few more others, and few other people, with sticks, big, big sticks. The writer took his friend and few others to his room, with big sticks they went there, to, to move his things from there. The writer he decided that I will not stay in that room. I am very much scared with that snake. Again it might come. Because there are so many rats, the snake might come to eat the rats. So I will not stay in that room, he told his friend. So let's go and take out all my belongings, whatever things he had. He didn't have much belongings. Suitcase was there, coat was there, shirt, pants. And he had 60 rupees in his suitcase we have talked about. And he took his friend to remove his, to move his belongings from there. He decided, he had decided that he will not stay in that room again. So, what happened? When they reached the room, when they reached, next morning, when they reached the room with his friend and few others, they found that they had very little to carry. They found that they had very little to carry, means nothing, there was nothing to carry. Every, the room has been cleaned. It has been clean. Everything was taken by a thief. A thief had entered the room and took all everything. When they reached the room, they found that they had very little to carry. Why they had very little to carry? Because there was nothing else. There was nothing left. Some thief had removed all his belongings, all his belongings, his mirror, his comb, his lantern, lamp, his suitcase, coat, shirts. The room had been cleaned out. Nothing was left except one thing. The thief had left one thing. What was that? As a final insult. As a final insult, the, right, the thief had left one thing. 
What was that? What was that? His friends asked. His friends were listening to the story. Eh? His uh, medical students, his friends were listening. The topic came out when, we were when they were talking about snakes and the writer began his story, his experience. And his friends who were surrounded him, who surrounded him, they asked, what was that? What was it that the thief had left? The vest, writer, the writer said, homeopathic doctor, that's he's a writer. He said, the vest, the dirty one, the vest which I hung them, hung on the uh, wall, on the peg. The vest was quite dirty and the thief had not taken it. The thief had a sense of cleanliness. It seems that the thief had a sense of cleanliness. That's why he has not taken the vest and kept it there as a final insult. He could have taken it and used it after washing. The writer said to his friend, he could have taken that also. He could have used it after washing, but no. He had a sense of cleanliness, that's why he, he didn't take. It was there, it was quite dirty and quite old. Did you see the snake again, doctors? One of his friend asks. One of his friend asks. Did you see the snake again? The, what did the, the homeopath doctor replied, No, never. No, never. I have not never seen that snake again. Because I left that room and I went somewhere else and rented a room somewhere else. Not in that same room. So, no, never. I have not seen that snake again. So, that was the end of the story. Now you can see quite humorous and uh, go through the lesson. We have finished lesson 5. Now we will go to another book. We will have to start another book. Moments. We will do it. Okay, that's all for today. We will meet in the next class and start with another book. And uh, after doing few lessons from there, we will proceed from here lesson 6. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Keep on studying at home regularly. That's all for today.